Now that you're familiar with Daz Studio and Diffeomorphic, let's now return to our kitbashed character. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a Daz Studio character as a reference aid when posing a rigged character in Blender. First, use Diffeomorphic to import a Genesis 8.1 male into your Blender scene. Add it to a new collection and call it Daz Base Model. Move him over to the side. Resize the Daz character so it's roughly the same size as the kitbashed character. Press N and go to Daz Runtime. Select Import Pose and find our custom Patrol Pose. Make sure the Effect Objects box is unticked as this will reset the scale. Before we start posing, first add a mesh plane so we have some ground for our character to stand on. Then make sure its selection is disabled. In pose mode, make sure that the transform settings are set to local, so the rotation tool will align with the joint. Now lastly, we just need to clean up the white paint on the hands to remove any artifacts. Feel free to skip to the next chapter if you just want to start posing. First, in pose mode, rotate the left shoulder forward, then do the same for the elbow. Then twist the wrist bone so we can see the palm. Make sure the main character parts are selectable, then hide the AK. Before we edit the weights, make sure the gloves are two separate objects. Do the same for the character's exposed arms. Now we can weight paint each glove without affecting the other. Select the armature and go to Data. Unhide the hidden bones so we don't miss any extra weight paint. Now shift select the glove and then go to weight paint mode. Take a look at the bones on the hand. You can see that the wrist bone's weight paint is patchy. To fix this, first set the weight paint value to 1, then drag a small gradient up the wrist to clean up those imperfections. Select this hidden bone, set the weight paint value to 0, and remove that bone's weights. Select the elbow. You will see that this bone is also affecting the hand. Remove its weights as well. Now in pose mode, the mesh should warp correctly. There are some exposed back faces on the arm. In object mode, select the arm and go to edit mode. The arm will reset back to a T-pose. To edit it while posed, go to the armature modifier and switch on edit mode. Edge select the rim around the arm. Drag it forward and then pinch it. This will hide the back faces when we pose the hand. Now move over to the left arm and repeat the same steps we just used for the right. Now let's start posing. Reset the pose, hide the hidden bones, and bring back the AK. Let's start by attaching the AK to the hand. First, select the shoulder bone and rotate it. Then select the hand and tilt it. Select the AK, move it in, and rotate it so it aligns with the palm. Ignore that the stock is clipping into the arm. Now, when posing the fingers, I'm going to show you a little trick. Select the hands and go up to Transform Pivot Point. Set it to Individual Origin. What that does is allow the bones to rotate independently rather than as a group. Now go to Pose Mode and select these three knuckle bones. Tilt them up, then select all of these finger bones. Rotate them in so the hand grips the pistol grip. Now let's take a look at our Daz character for reference. All of his fingers are snapped together, so we'll need to snap our fingers together. Select the knuckle bones and rotate them up so they're tightly together. Pull the index finger out slightly. Then bring the thumb in. In object mode, select the AK's armature and reposition it so it sits in the hand better. Slightly adjust the fingers so they fit the AK's new position.
To parent the AK to the hand, go to Object Mode, select the AK's armature, then select the character's armature. Switch to Pose Mode, and select the anchor bone of the AK, then select the character's wrist bone. Press Ctrl P to open the parent menu, then select Bone. Now when you rotate the hand, you will see that the AK will now follow. Let's now take another look at our Daz pose. You can see that the Daz character's right shoulder is pointing inwards. So I'm going to select my Kitbash character's right collarbone and bring that inwards. Then select the elbow bone and rotate it so the AK is closer to the body, and then twist it. Bend him forward slightly and then rotate his neck. Tilt the left collarbone forward. Rotate the left hand 180 degrees. Then rotate the left elbow up. Select the shoulder and bring it in so the hand sits under the handguard. Rotate the elbow up and rotate the wrist down. Adjust the thumb so it's not clipping through the handguard. Adjust the knuckle bones so the fingers are closer together. Then select all the finger and knuckle bones and rotate them up so they grasp the handguard. Now for the walking pose, select the right hip bone and rotate that forward. Then select the left hip bone and rotate that backwards. Bend the left knee bone slightly. Switch to a side-on view to line up the two poses. Use this to adjust the leg bones so they overlap the Daz character. Make sure he's also touching the floor. Rotate the camera so it's facing the front of the character. Bring the character's legs in so they're closer together. Straighten out the ankle bones so they touch the ground better. You can temporarily set the transform to global and pull the ankle bone up slightly to fix clipping issues. The Daz character's legs appear to be closer together, so use the global tool and pull his hip bones closer together. Make sure the toe bones are tilted up slightly. Now we have a rough pose. Let's see how it compares to our Daz character. Drag it over and merge it into our kitbashed character. This will allow us to see if we've missed anything. I can see here that the head is misaligned and the body is pointing slightly to the left. So to fix this, we'll need to rotate his torso to the right slightly so it lines up with the Daz character's armature. Set the transform to local, select the neck bone, and adjust it so the head aligns with the Daz head. Adjust the Daz character if you need a better fit. Now, let's take a look at our kitbashed character's arms. They're a bit too far out. Select the shoulder bone, pull it down, and move it back. Then select the elbow bone, and rotate it up and slightly to the left. Adjust the wrist bone so it overlaps the hand. Do the same for the right arm. Now hide the Daz character so we can take a look at our pose so far. Make sure the hand is not clipping with the magazine and the fingers have a good grip on the handguard. There is a bit of clipping with the body armor and the AK. Select both wrist bones, switch the transform to global, and pull them forward slightly. Now, go back to object mode. Unhide the DAS model and select the body object. The orange outline will give you a good understanding on how close your kitbashed character is mimicking the DAS pose. Use this to make any minor adjustments. The neck is clipping through the jacket on the back. To fix this, select the armature, then select the head. Go to weight paint mode and select the upper torso bone. Use the gradient tool and apply a small amount of weight paint. That will stop the neck from poking through. If you isolate the head, 
we can add a bit more weight paint around the edges to minimize any more clipping. Now switch to cycles. The better lighting will reveal more imperfections. If you think the AK should be bigger, select its armature and use the scale tool to increase its size. If you want to save this pose, first create a new collection. Call it Poses. Then select the kitbashed character's armature and duplicate it. Move it over to the side. Then put that armature into the Pose collection. Rename that armature to Armed Patrol Pose. You can then hide it. When you reset the character's pose, you can come over to this pose collection and copy the pose from this armature and then paste it onto the kitbashed character. And with that, this concludes my tutorial on posing in Blender. In the final stage of this tutorial series, I will be showing you how to create a detailed Genesis 9 character in Daz, which we will then import into Blender and attach to our kitbashed character's body.